Here we go, uh, brothers and sisters, part four of the tray ceiling. Of course, if you've made it this far, you're really interested in building a tray ceiling, and you've watched quite a bit of it. And of course, if you have any questions or uh, trouble on your tray ceiling, and you'd like to give me a call on the phone, I'm going to put my phone number down in the description below. So if my phone number's down there, Give me a call if you have a question. If not, uh, give me a comment or something like that, and I'll answer that. But anyway, uh, call me between 9 and 4 o'clock Central Time. Uh, try not to call me at midnight, because I'll be asleep. Anyway, part four. Okay, uh, good morning. We're getting ready to... We've got the tray ceiling pretty well complete. It's painted. Everything's decorated. We've finished it. Now we're getting ready to flip it upside down so that we can raise it up into the box. So we're going to show you the flip and then we're going to show you how we raise it up. So that's where we're at on this particular tray ceiling. So we're finishing up. Hopefully we'll get it up here in just a couple of hours and we'll be able to see it. Okay, we're ready? We're yeah. going to go ahead and uh, flip the uh, tray ceiling right now. We've got one person here, one person here, and I'm in the center. We're going to lift it up off of the uh, saw horses. It's going to slide against the wall, and then we're going to stand it, stand it vertically up, and then we'll slide it back. So, okay, we're getting ready to go. So, uh, one, two, three, go. Okay, now I've got uh, my boards in place, my raising boards. These are two by fours I've got on each corner, and I put them up outside the box. Up, the box is up here, so this is outside the box. Then I've, I've run a, a two by four across through here, so now I can lift this up a little bit of, at a time, put a block under it, re screw it. And so we're going to take it up just a little bit at a time. I got a bad arm, tennis elbow here, and I'm still going to be able to raise this tray ceiling up with one arm. The one arm tray ceiling guy. Okay, so anyway. Okay, I put two, a screw here and a screw here to hold this block, to hold this. But, now that I think about it, because I'm going to be lifting this, and putting the pressure on those two screws over there or over here, I probably ought to put two and two, two screws. So I'm going to add a couple more screws just in case a screw broke, I won't lose my stuff. So I'm going to put an extra screw in here. but it's better to be safe than later on having a problem. So anyway, put another screw over here. So I've got two screws on, on, this, on this side. And now I'm going to raise up the other side first. Okay, I'm going to raise this up, and I want you to slide this block right in here so that'll hold that up. That's up. Now I'm going to put a screw in here. Let me get my screw gun over there. See now it's kind of floating. It's lifted off the off the uh, sawhorse. already two screws down there. Now I'm going on the other side. Come over with another block. 
Sasha over here. Camera, you can come over here too. So. Right here is the area. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get in here and raise this up. See, I didn't even have to raise it up very much because it's already starting to lift. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to raise this up. So actually it's going to put a block in there. There's the block. Now the screw. Here. is gonna we're gonna step this up block by block by block so we'll come back in a little bit and film again so right now we're gonna take a you don't want to see every block so we're gonna do a little blocks and then we'll come back and video a little bit more okay we're moving up we're blocked it up so we've come up a little bit we're still going around blocking some of these we're leaving about two or three blocks and then reusing the blocks so we're making a little bit of progress so, and you can see how it's looking underneath here. It's kind of, we're moving it up, but it's slow. Here's our two before across. So, anyway, uh, we'll come back in a little bit after we've raised it up another foot or two. No. Who says toil? Okay, we're raising up the uh, tray ceiling. I lifted it up quite a ways with just using my back and raising it up underneath. Now we've got the hydraulical jack. This is a uh, regular uh, floor jack for automobile use. But I'm going to show you. We're going to just we're going to turn this and we're going to jack it up. We're going up about three and a half inches per side. You can see right here. And then we're putting blocks. We got blocks. We got one block there. So Sasha's going to show you how she's going to put a block in over here. Okay, so now we block that. And then we're going we're to screw that in. So we're going up little by little. Going up little by little. So we're doing it very safely. So we're blocking and blocking. Because this thing probably weighs, I guess it weighs probably close to 300 pounds, I'm going to guess. You need a little more? Yeah, I think. Yeah. So, I'm going to raise it up just a little bit more so she can get her block on this side. There. there. Now we got it blocked up both sides. And we're kind of we're working on this end, raising this end, coming over here, raising this end. back and forth getting it up. So we also reinforced our legs here on both all four corners a little while ago just to kind of make it more stable because these boards were not the straightest. They're just leftover boards so I'm using them for uh, just to do this project and they're really scrap boards. Okay, we've been working on this for about four hours now, getting this thing up. So it's taken a while to get it this high. We're almost getting it into the box. Uh, looking very good. Everything's going as planned. 
it's a slow process. You go up three and a half inches on one side, three and a half, and back forth. If you had two of these floor jacks, it'd even be better. You could put one on one side, and one on the other. So, and four ladders, because we're having to move the ladders around to get it all done. But plus, I got a bad my tennis elbow. It's kind of making a little bit rougher. So anyway, uh, almost in the place that it's going to be once we get it up there and locked in, we'll uh, do a finished video of how it's all looking. So uh, be back in a couple of minutes. Okay, let me get some, uh, some shims underneath this. Okay, we finished the uh, putting the ceiling all the way up. We got it all screwed in, bolted in on the sides. Uh, if you notice, we've got an extra. We put it up a little bit higher so that we can have another indention here coming down this way to the main ceiling so you know give it a little extra uh, tray effect anyway we've got it all up took about six hours to get it up with uh, me and uh, two helpers so took a little while to get it up because we had to step it up this is uh i think it's right at let's see i think it's 10 Ten and a half feet to the main ceiling, so this is uh, quite a ways up there. It's not the low ceiling. So from the from the main ceiling, which is this part here, is I think ten foot. Right, it's just a half an inch under 10 feet. So then we come up to the center. So it's going to be to the top of this. We're going to end up being uh, 11 feet and 8 inches. So we made a pretty good. We're still got to add our lights. We're going to add some lights up under here, some LED lights up under here. Do some touch up in our paint. But uh, the bulk of the paint's finished, so that's the biggest thing. Then we'll come back and put our sheetrock here, put our corners on, take the bed, everything, match the uh, ceiling over here. So it turned out really well. No hitches to speak of. Uh, we had to take one corner loose a little bit because it was a little bit tight. Took a couple of screws out. So everything went great. Uh, I hope that this kind of helped you a little bit. Of course, put in uh, any comments that you have on uh, this video and I'll respond to them uh, as quick as I can to give you any updates uh, of how the tray ceiling this particular one went. I think it turned out really well. Uh, so we probably have about, we have six hours getting it up. So that's quite a bit of time getting it up. We probably have 20 hours putting it all together upside down. So maybe a total of 26, maybe 30 hours total. In the last six hours we had two helpers to help us uh, lift it up put the blocks in as we stick to it. Anyway, thank you very much. Uh, stay tuned for more videos on tray ceilings. Okay, we finally got the tray ceiling done. We hung up the new chandelier today. We got this chandelier on Craigslist. We repainted it. It was a dark color. We repainted it and kind of added a little touch to it. We've got most of the lights in. We're missing three light bulbs, but anyway, I'm going to show it to you. We uh, put an LED strip kit around the on the on the first tray, so we have it lit up. And this this is an 18 foot tape that we put around there. When you turn it on. You're not going to be able to see it real good during the daytime, but it looks real good at night. Oh, one light. 
so now you can see the, the uh, first tray we put the LED light in between uh, the first tray and the second tray. So we have that. And then we put the chandelier up, and this is a 36 inch chandelier, and I think it's 48 inches tall. So it's a pretty good pretty good size chandelier, but this room is really going to be a bigger room than just the tray ceiling because we've got to uh, kind of do it like from around it, how it's going to look over here. So it's going to be a real high ceiling. So this room is going to be a big room even though the tray is part of the room. So it's going to wind up looking good. Now turn on the rest of the light. So there's the, and we boxed around the, the box, we put some sheetrock already around it, and we've still got to put the rest of the sheetrock in. But anyway, the tray, this complete tray ceiling with the light, because we got the light on Craigslist for $100, we painted it. Uh, all the materials that you see are probably, I'm going to say, right under $1,000 complete little bit under. So it's something that you could do and uh, just takes a little bit of time and everybody can do a different look on theirs, you know, depending on what you want on your colors. You can put uh, different colors up there, you can put uh, different designs, there's all sorts of anything that you want you can do and make yours unique. And personal. So I think this is going to be a, a good video for you. If you have any comments or things that you want to ask, put it in the comment section and I'll try to get back and give you a little more detail of what, how to do it. I know this was not maybe as detailed as I could have made it, but anyway, I think you're going to have a good time if you make one of these tray ceilings. I know that you'll uh, enjoy it and get lots of compliments on it if you have any friends over, but more than anything you'll enjoy looking at it yourself and your family. And it'll be something that you uh, always enjoy and keep looking at. And so, oh, let me show you some other tray ceilings that I've done. This is another tray ceiling. This is kind of a curved, I mean a, a slanted tray ceiling. It's not truly a tray ceiling, but it's a unique ceiling that I did, so I just wanted to show it to you. It's got an LED light around it. Uh, got this one set at blue, and this is in the bathroom, so it looks pretty nice. So anyway, that one there, so now I'm going to show you another one. Okay, here's another uh, tray ceiling. It's kind of a tray cove looking ceiling that I did uh, a while back, and it's got, oh, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, about six different trays. And I put some, uh, I got a, some curved sheetrock in there. So this is just another look. Just wanted to show it to you. Uh, put up a nice big ceiling fan there. And something a little bit different. But uh, I think the tray ceilings are the ones that you're really going to have a good time with because you can build them uh, down flip them over, raise them up, and actually they're pretty easy to do. Just take a little bit of time, they're just kind of like a, a puzzle. Anyway, that's it. If you have any comments, put them in. Thank you.